So in this video we're going to be showing you how to properly generate random numbers in JavaScript. So in this example we're generating random quotes but it doesn't generate the same quote twice in a row and it also doesn't generate uh, the same quote until all the other quotes have been displayed. Okay so we've just got a very simple uh, HTML document here. We're using bootstrap 5 and jQuery. Uh, I'll show you here. Yes, we haven't added. We haven't added the functionality first yet. Sorry. Uh, we've got some Bootstrap card here with a quote head. Well, it's got an idea quote head anyway. It's called a block quote in Bootstrap. In, in Bootstrap. Sorry, no, this is HTML. Sorry, but the Bootstrap style is on the block quote HTML element and the fig caption. Again, this isn't HTML CSS tutorial, I'm just showing you what I've got here. Not how to create it. Linear gra gradient as the background, overflow hidden, so it removes the scrolling bar. Uh, flexbox to vertically align it, as you can see. So, uh, centered vertically. Again, in the uh, JavaScript file, we've created references to the button, the quote head and the quote tail. This text is the quote head, this text is the quote tail. Uh, we've got an object here, or well, sorry, an array of objects, sorry, uh, with a quote field which contains the quote body and the person which contains who, who it's by. Okay, so first things first, we're going to create a variable uh, to store the random number. Now we're going to generate the random number. Uh, so equals math dot floor math dot sorry random times by quote block dot length so this will generate a number between a full an integer between because we use math dot floor which always rounds down so even if it's um 1.999 it will still round down to one generates a random math dot random on its own generates a random number between zero and 0.999 reoccurring times this by the quote block dot length so it will generate uh, a value between 0 and 9 because there's 10 of these objects in the array uh, yeah now to actually uh, display uh, the randomly generated uh, quote so we'll use quote head HTML, quotes block, put the random numbers, it's the, it's the, it's, 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 sorry, the iterator, dot head, no sorry, person, and then quote tail dot HTML, again just the same for uh, Oh my god, not sorry, not person, quote, there you go. This is what happens when I make a tutorial. Okay, now it's basically simple. Oh, by the way, this is a, this is a click uh, listener, in case you didn't realise, in jQuery. So this function, this anonymous function here gets activated every time you click on the button. So now, as you can see, it's we get some basic simple functionality, but as you can see, I don't know if you could just, I don't know if you saw that there, but... Sometimes when I click on it, it gener because it generates the same number twice. Sometimes, yes. Yeah, so, so it's not always generating a new quote every time I click next because there is a chance, uh, a one in ten chance that it will generate the same quote twice. So when I click next, nothing will update in that instance. So uh, to solve this, we're going to create an empty array. So we'll just create a uh, ran store. And then um, what we'll do is we'll say if van store dot length equals to quote block dot length, we'll reset van store back to an empty array again. You'll see why in a second. Now we're going to create a do while loop. 
in case you're not familiar with do while loops. I'll just explain it in a second. Uh, and the while in the while uh, specification will be uh, ran store dot index of ran num not equal to minus one. So basically, what index of is, if random can be found in the ran store array, then it will return the index of the point uh, where random can be found in ran store. But if it can't, so if random is not existent in, in, ran, in the ran store array, then it will return minus one. So not equals means basically uh, if it can be found in that array. Uh, but there's nothing in ran store, and there never will be until we do this. Until we actually push the random value to the ran store array. So we'll just do that now. Push random. So that will push random to the end of the ran store array. And what I do, the do while loop is basically so generate a random number. If the random number has been is can be found in ran store then do this again and keep on doing it again until this isn't true, the condition specified here. Uh, and the reason why we use the if statement here is because that this, this is to reset everything uh, because once we displayed all the quotes um, again this, is, this, is, this will cause an infinite loop if we don't empty the array, because all the possible number combinations have been generated and have been added to the array. So if we don't do this, then it will cause an inf in infinite loop. So we need to do that. Uh, and now everything should be working simply. Yeah, as you can see, it's not generating. Each time we click, there's no chance that we will get the same number twice. And it will display all of the possible uh, quotes until it will display the same quotes again. So because there's 10 quotes, you won't see the same number. Uh, so the same quote again until you've seen all the other quotes, basically. But it, it is in random order. It isn't random number uh, combination. So it's not the same sequence each time. And yeah, that's basically... I hope, I hope this helped. Uh, very simple tutorial, I know, but... It's only front end only as well, so no back end here. Very simple tutorial because I see. I mean, this is, in my opinion, this is the most practical usage of random numbers in some like JavaScript, because I don't think you would really want the same number generated twice. Uh, again, this is just a very practical implementation of it. So yeah, I haven't seen anyone else do it. So I just wanted to make this video to help you out. Anyway, peace. I'll see you in the.